everyone, this is Lorenzo Galelli. I'm a product manager at Veritas looking after Net Backup Resiliency. And today I'd like to talk to you about a new integrated feature with Net Backup and Resiliency Platform, which is the um, ability to provide multi-service level objective for your mission critical workloads. So what is multi-service level objective? Um, well, actually, most applications typically need to be protected through backup, either for recovery or application consistency, but also for things like data retention, compliance, and also recovery purposes. The real benefit of the multi-service level objective is the ability to merge both the backup and also replication, and really allowing you to provide multiple recovery point objectives or better termed as service level objective, which also incorporates the recovery time objective or RTO. This is equally important when it comes to recovery as some applications need to be recovered faster than others and with the need to ensure business operations are up and running to service the end users. So with that, let's delve into the demonstration. Um, and really preview how we can provide this capability with Net Backup Resiliency. So here we can see the dashboard of the Resiliency platform. Um, the first thing we'll do is we'll go into Service Objectives where we'll have various objectives already defined. Um, there's also some pre-built uh, definitions that you can use straight away. Uh, we can see one here for, for a recovery point objective for both backup and also for replication. But we'll actually go through the process of creating that service objective now by going to templates uh, and then looking for the multi-RPO recovery for hosts. What we then do is activate it. Once we activate it, we can then go through the requirements that we have. So this example here, we're going to add the copy requirement for the RPO. Uh, and then stipulate the monitoring cycle that we'll use uh, to ensure that we are within a certain recovery point objective time frame. So here we'll select four hours. Uh, we're validating the technology and that backup will be used for the uh, purpose of this service level objective. We'll then also add the replication recovery point objective with a five minute RPO. And again, we can ver validate that and ensure that we're using the relevant replication technology. So once we've done that, we then um, provide a, a name for the service level objective, and then we can also apply a rank in relation to the type of um, service objective that we wish to apply for the various resiliency groups. In the demonstration, we're going to use um, one of the predefined recovery point objectives um, for, for the various workloads that we'll look at. Um, so the first thing we'll do is we'll look at the various resiliency groups which have been created. Um, here there's a, there's a bunch of resiliency groups that we can see. Um, we'll look for the multi-SLO ones which we've already created. And essentially there's a weird of which will guide through the process of adding um, protected workloads into this environment. Uh, and what we see straight away is the, uh, the different service level objectives that have applied to this workload. So we can see straight away that in New York um, the various replication is currently up to date and we can also see the backup jobs um, which are um, resident within inside that environment as well. So here we can see the replication, currently no lag um, on this current workload. Uh, and as we look at the, uh, the backup uh, information in relation to what's being protected, we can see uh, the various workloads which are being replicated via NetBackup Air between the two sites. Um, so here we can see the latest image which is available to us um, when we wish to actually go through that recovery process. Um, also in the service level objective window, we can see the recovery readiness. A rehearsal has already been carried out, um, so confidence is quite high in relation to the, um, the systems which are being tested. We haven't tested the recovery readiness yet for the uh, resiliency data mover technology. Um, and again, we can see the various activities which have been run in relation to uh, the last rehearsal and also the relevant cleanup operation regarding that. So as we look to carry out an operation, here we're going to carry out a rehearsal at the disaster recovery site. Uh, we can choose the various data mover technology, so either the replication or the backup images. 
and here if we select the backup image we can actually use the, the latest image which is there um, we can also look for a time range and here we can look back you know 24 96 hours whatever it is that we have uh, and then on the drop down point and recovery window you can see information about those backup images which are available uh, and also some additional information such as whether or not we've tested the uh, the images with previous rehearsal runs or recovery um, from the environment as well so typically here you'd select the relevant image that you want to uh, test the rehearsal against um, and then you can also do the uh, similar operation with the uh, replication technology which is available as well um, and then once we've selected the relevant uh, technology click on submit uh, and then we get information about um, the various options for replication there's some warnings in relation to you know making sure that you don't carry out any storage fee motion tasks during the um, the operation itself um, we track the configuration and just ensure that we're using the relevant paths for recovery um, so if we look at the activities you have a choice there of going to hyperlink into activities or we can look at the activities view itself uh, and here we can see the relevant tasks which are now going to be carried out. Um, there'll be a running order in relation to those operations. And here, if we look at the example for the rehearsal for the NetPack image uh, and click on the details of this, we'll see the various stages which are being carried out. Uh, and we can also look at the various tasks which are being carried out as well. So here we'll have information about the um, adding of the various virtual machine in the ESXi cluster as well as starting the virtual machine uh, as well as network personalization as well so we can modify the IP address and DNS updates when we um, instigate the rehearsal and also migration or failover um, of those systems in the environment and um, so with that I'll stop the uh, demonstration um, hopefully it's given you some insight into the uh, abilities that multi service level objective give you um, you know, you have that flexibility on recovery, so you can choose either a backup or uh, replication technology in the event of a disaster or for testing purposes. Um, so thank you again for your time today. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please look out for more Net Backup Resiliency videos. And thank you again for your time.